Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a plan with me for last year, the week of August 19th through the 25th. Yes, I am very behind. Yes, I am also catching up at a really good speed, so hope to keep up with that momentum. I'm really excited about this week because this is, or this was the week that I finished Stranger Things season... I think this is season three. Yeah, it has to be season three because I did not have a kit for season one. I don't even know if I was planning when I watched season one. Season two, I did have um, another Simply a Mess kit for, actually. I won't pretend to know where it is in here, but you can find it on my Instagram or YouTube. Um, but I really liked that one. And I'm also really excited for this one. So this is season three. I, don't, I think season four has come out. I just haven't seen it. I don't know. I'll have to catch up on that at some point. Um... Hopefully there will be kits for that one too. But yeah, so this was season three. This was a really excellent season. I loved the season so much. Like I was obsessed with the show with season two, but I got really obsessed with season three. Like it has everything I want in a show. It's, I don't really watch a lot of live action shows. I'm more of a cartoons kind of gal, but this show really got me. Um, I just love, I love like, I love horror things, but this, I mean, I guess this could be classified as horror, but it's more like just spooky scary, but not like actual horror. It's like, you know, 80s like, can't be horror a little bit, but like better, better than like actual 80s movies. And I've seen a few, but um, yeah, I just, I like the modern effects, even though it's like still kind of got that 80s vibe. So, and this obviously the color scheme for like this kit and this season that it's representing and like her outfit was very 80s so that was really cool to see that but yeah like everything got like way more serious and like better in this season so I'm really psyched about that I think I would talk about it a little bit more when I hauled this kit when I first got it so if you want like more in depth of my thoughts go kind of check that out but in the meantime I should start explaining what I'm gonna do for this week so yeah this is the Simply a Mess Friends Don't Lie collection it is the I got the four page version of the kit. I keep forgetting if there's like bigger versions of these of her kits um, because I the only ones I ever have are like this four page version which seems kind of like a mini kit like I do have to pull in a lot of stuff but um, it's really good for the price point so here's the full boxes we get like a lot of the really important icons from the series and then we have our deco and other things boxes and headers and bottom washi which I've already taken the liberty of cutting in half flags side washi and sidebar tracker I really like that one that's a good one and then some um habit trackers I actually realized that I forgot to pull out one more habit tracker so you will see that later um and I did get the extras for once, I remembered to get the add-ons. So here we have the Fashion Girls, which is just this girl. But um, you can actually see her whole face, which is really cool. Obviously, I'm going to use the one that looks just like Eleven. But there are other options. And here are the upside-down glitter headers for the kit. And the date covers and date dots. So I will not be using the date dots um, I will save those though, and I will be using the date covers, so I'll be using all of that, and we'll be, oh wait, no, never mind, I am going to use a foiled half tracker for number four, I forgot, lol, anyway, I'm glad I don't have to go dig that out, so, um, speaking of foil, I'm also going to be using the Scoba Prints Co. Rainbow Foil, actually, I had noticed that she, I think she, at one point, came out with, um, a foil that was like black background with rainbow foil over that. I think it was one of her matte um, wiggles that would have been perfect for this because like that's exactly what that is. But um, I realized I didn't have it in time for this plan with me and I realized, you know, I have a rainbow one so that's gonna, that's gonna work just as well. So we're gonna go ahead and use that and besides this one has all the overlays and that one being a matte wiggle would not. So it was probably a better decision to use this one anyways. So I did already put, pull out all the icons that I plan to use this week, but there's the date dots that I'll be putting down. Um, I believe I am going to go with the weekend banner in here rather than the one in the kit. I'm not really a big fan of that one over there. 
And then we have some of our overlays. I'm really excited for all of those. And I love the photo corners like more than anything. And having rainbow foil corners is really cool. And then the bottom washi. So actually, you saw that I split the bottom washi in half. Um, my intent was actually to use this very appropriate washi tape from Simply Gilded. I love how there's like a, a, like a glare so you can only see like that one little window of color at a time, but it looks really cool. If I do it faster, you can see more. But yeah, so it's this rainbow over solid black. I do actually have the rainbow over solid white too, I think. No. Do I? It's possible that I have that somewhere, but the one I'm looking at right now is the solid rainbow foil in the background with the white bows. So that's the other one that I have, which would be really cool, but this was what I was thinking of for the foil anyway, so I just had to go with this one. I may also incorporate this one into the bottom as well. Let me just see if that's gonna be a good look before I commit to that. Um, I don't know about that. I think it would probably be okay if I did not do that, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to this, and we will see. But yeah, I'm probably gonna just not use any of those, which is fine. And I'm also gonna bougie this week up. I've already got my day extenders down, my little handmade ones, which is paper, which I find is much less intimidating than um, the actual sticky ones that you can find in people's shops because sticking a sticker to another sticker is gonna be a lot harder to undo than sticking a sticker to like printer paper, which is what this is. So that's why I just make my own and also it's super cheap and easy. So there you go. Um, so I have those and I am gonna bougie it up this week with this Girl Boss Annotate, which I don't think I've used before as a bougie or otherwise, because you can tell it's got the seal on it. So this is, let me try to undo it real quick so I can show you, cause this is kind of a cool tape. So this is like confetti like you'd usually find for a bougie box, but it is like kind of more sparse. It is hollow. I just decided to go with hollow this week because it was the most rainbowy of um, tapes that I had. But like it's not as concentrated as most confettis and it is little stars, like the tiniest of little stars in there. So I thought that would be really cool and perfect because this kind of reminds me a little bit of like space a little bit or like the sky of the fireworks I don't know it seems like it would go really well so that's how I'm kind of spicing it up with the bougie even though you're not really gonna see it because I'm gonna put stuff over it and it's really sparse but if you look closely you'll be able to see that I might get try to get like a video of that at the end like I usually do so now that I've talked for like eight minutes straight about a kit that I'm gonna use which is way longer than I usually talk I think it's about time to get into it so Enjoy the provided music, and I will see you on the other side for the day by day. So let's go ahead and get into it. OMG, I am so sorry that you saw so much of my hair in that um, in that base layout. Oh my god. But I really needed to get close to place down the bougie boxes. It's so much faster and easier when I can see what I'm doing. So um, let's go ahead and get into the day by day. 
So we're starting with Monday, very busy day. I had to use an extender, so I had to work. So I'm using my typical um, kind of budgeting sticker from Sweet Ava's paper of Shadow the Cat to mark that and a script from Scroll Prints Co. I also cut my finger that day at work, probably on one of the tills at the registers. So I have this perfect appropriate um, sticker of Lil from Some Little Things. Um, I was still checking my weight. I don't remember what shop that um, that scale sticker is from. And then I finished stunning in the Pretty Little Liars series. So that is a stack of books from the Wiggle for that. It was also a really cold day. So I am in August, which is crazy. So I'm marking that with a little freezing ice cube munchkin from Once More With Love. And um, the half box with the detective snowball from Sweet Ava's Paper is to mark that there was a mystery with my start date because it was backwards in the system. It was like May 2nd instead of February 5th and I was like really confused but that's just how it is in the system so that took a while to figure out because I wanted to make sure I was getting my vacation time properly um, accrued, accrued properly. So I also had tea that day because it was cold obviously so that is a mug from the Wiggle. I love the like the shattered glass rainbow wiggle. It's not just the normal wiggle. It's the shattered glass like sparkle rainbow wiggle. It's so epic. So I also did an Instagram post for my haul. That's another icon from the wiggle. I caught up with um, the guy that I had recently, or I guess not recently, that I had broken up with early that year that I've talked about a lot. I don't really talk about him anymore or think about him really. So um, this won't be the last time I mark him in my planner, I don't think, but yeah, I'm kind of done with that. And that is a Pumpkin Paper Co. couple sticker for that. And I had an early night, so the early night script is from Happy Daya, and then the little sleeping emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co., so I passed that pretty early. So going into Tuesday, I finished, or I didn't finish, I started Burned, the next book in the Pretty Little Liar series. That is a Fox and the Cactus Girl marking that. I had drinks, um, which always for me means some form of white Russian or chocolate Russian or yellow Russian or whatever I can come up with, or vanilla Russian, I have those two. Um, I guess that's my form of white Russian because um, I prefer to use vanilla milk over cream. Anyway, um, so that is a Hazel sticker, um, little drink glass to mark that. I worked kind of late that day, so that is another Some Little Things sticker to mark that, along with a work late script from Glam Planner. I don't use a ton of those, but I really should because I like those. Um, and then we got this little nap time script and girl from Shine Sticker Studio. She's so cute with her rainbow hair. And it matches perfectly with this rainbow kit. It's a very rainbow week. It's crazy. So I um, had to get creative about covering up that little heart on the little thing. But that is going to have a little film clapper icon from the wiggle to mark that I edited a plan with me. And um, the half box is to mark that I called my friend Jess, who is also my coworker, she's like my best friend, about um, a stressful work issue that and that was all I wrote in my planner, so I have no idea what issue that was. I, I would try to make something up, but there's a new issue every day at our work, so <laughs> I won't pretend. But that's another phone icon from the kit, or from the wiggle. A dollar sign icon from the wiggle is to mark $2 Tuesday this was again back when I was doing that every week before my budget told me no. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to get back into that one day. So going into Wednesday uh, I worked again. That is another Glam Planner script sticker to mark that and the girl is from Whimsical Cat Studio. I really love that sticker. It's like another budgeting sticker. Um, I read Burns again and that is another stack of books little icon from the Wiggle. I got groceries, so that's a grocery cart from the Wiggle, and then a grocery script from somewhere. Um, got a little box icon from the Wiggle to mark Happy Meal from Sweet Ava's Paper. I probably get more Happy Meal from her shop than like anywhere, except Scroll or Pensco. That's like the character shop that I get the most orders from, um, I think, pretty sure. So then I also got a new iPad, which I was really excited about. I'm still paying that off. I'll be paying that off forever. 
but I love it and I use it all the time. Um, I'm going to try to design more stickers with it, but again, I'm not going to focus too much on my shop until I'm caught up on Plan With Me's. And that sticker to mark that is, I think, a Once More With Love sticker from her new Mini Doodles series, I think. So Jess and I had plans that day, and um, she is known for, like, canceling her plans last minute or just never responding. She does that all the time, so I was really mad, so I wrote Jess Stitches again with a little angry face. Um, it was Skrull Prince Co. Wiggle at Wednesday. I bought Wiggle, so that is a... Uh, strip from Squirrel Prince Co. And my dear snake Anna did not eat. So that is a sweet bean plan snake. The icon was from the wiggle and the not hungry script is from my shop. So going into Thursday I had work again. And that is a once more with love munchkin to mark that from a discontinued sheet. Another work script from Glam Planner. It was also trash day. That icon is from the wiggle and it was payday. I never marked trash day and payday even though they're every Thursday because I don't often have room, but I had a room on this day. So I was kind of happy to mark it because I do have stickers that I need to use. Um, the payday script is from a sampler from somewhere and the girl is a scribbler from School of Prince Co. Also discontinued. Um, I did get lots of happy mail that day. I didn't mark down the individual shops. They're probably in my daily planner somewhere, but I just got lots. So I'm using a whimsical cat studio girl like drowning or like swimming in her happy mail, which is really funny. Um, so below that, I'm marking that I took a nap. And that is a nap script from School of Prince Co. and the little sleeping emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. I am like kind of ahead of myself here. This is crazy, but I'm going to keep talking because I know I'm going to catch up real fast. So. The half box is to mark a lot of things involving Anna. So she pooped and shed that day. So I'm marking both of those with stickers for my own shop. Um, I kind of tried to cram too much in one space, so it looks kind of bad and I'm not going to do that again, but I don't know. I just wanted to mark everything. Um, so yeah, she tends to do both of those things at once, so kind of got to mark it. And it's really important for me to track all of her activities. I have it in my daily planner, but I want this to be like my real memory planner. I want this to be the one I consult. Um, Cause it's also like very highly edited. So everything's neat and organized and I can see everything that happened at a glance, real easy. See, I'm also doing this really bad layering job right here. I mean, it's not awful. You can still read shed complete, but like I definitely tried to cram too much. Um, and then the little camera icon from the wiggle and then the film script from the sticky committee I think is to mark that I filmed a haul. I didn't really want to write haul because I knew it would be really sloppy if I tried to write in addition to a script even though I do that later in the week but yeah I'll just have to remember that I meant to write film haul. Um, I really need somebody to come out with stickers that say haul and plan with me instead of just film edit and upload. I want specifics. Otherwise, I won't write next to the foil. Um, so Friday, I slept in. So that is another sticker from Whimsical Cat Studio, a script from somewhere. Um, I went to Riva, the seafood place with Jess. So we finally did something together. So that is a kind of eating sticker from Whimsical Cat Studio. I got it custom looked like us. And the seafood sticker is from Happy Day. It's a little salmon thing. We got ice cream after that. And that is a sticker from Sweet Davis Paper and a script from either Sweet of Paper or like Once More With Love or something. Probably Sweet of Paper. I think it's from the same sheet. Um, so then Jess came over to my house to drop me off and I let her in so she could meet Anna for the first time. So I'm marking that with a custom sticker that I had requested from Happy Daya, even though that's not what she looks like. That is the Mojave morph and Anna is a cinnamon morph so I changed my mind after I had requested that sticker but I'm still really proud that I got her to draw a ball python so I still use those stickers <laughs> they are really good um, so yeah so just met Anna and just had had a ball python before when she was younger so she already knows and likes snakes unlike a lot of my other friends so I had a nap that is a once more with love sticker marking that and another script from SPC 
I ate so much seafood that I had a f well, and ice cream that I had a food baby. So marking that with a pregnancy sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. I have food baby stickers somewhere else. I just forgot where they were. So I had to use a pregnancy sticker, but it works. And then the Go Wild sale was happening. So that is a sale sticker from Shine Sticker Studio. And I bought tons of stickers from there. So that's marking that. Saturday, I worked as a cashier. That is a Sweet Avis Paper sticker to mark that. I use that pretty much every time I need to do that. Because there's not a ton of like cashier stickers out there. If you know more, let me know. I already know the Coffee Monsters Co. ones. But if there's any others, let me know. So I was um, doing a lot of flirting this week or this week and next week with one of my coworkers. Um, he actually stopped working there sh pretty soon after. Um, we became friends. It never really went anywhere, so I kind of took his name out of my planner and just wrote co-worker instead of writing his actual name. That is a sticker from Van City Stickers to mark that. Another drink sticker from Hey Soul Sticker to mark more white Russians. And then I was feeling a little bit depressed that day. So there's one of those panda stickers from that shop that I can never remember and keep forgetting to look up. But I'm sure you recognize that cute little panda. So that's perfect to mark that. Um, and then here I committed the cardinal sin of, well, first of all, showing my hair. And then second of all, putting down an edit script and then writing after that. Not only that, but I also included a different colored foiled icon of the little laptop to mark that I edited a haul and plan with me. I also had nap time and here I'm committing another cardinal sin of layering a script like way over a character sticker, which is the from the Coffee Monsters Co. obviously to mark nap time and I feel like I wasted that cute little nap time script because that looks bad but I couldn't peel it up I tried but I couldn't do it I'm really proud of what I did below though on the day extender so I recorded a voiceover so I'm putting that over an extra glitter header and then I used the movie marquee from the kit and a um, suite of his paper, like 11 sticker from 11 from Stranger Things to mark that I finished watching Stranger Things. And I actually wrote it really nice and neatly in that tiny little space and I'm so proud of myself. Well, it's not super neat, but it was as good as I could get with a Sharpie. I'm still waiting on my really thin, um, I think Pilot G2.38 pens to come in. Those are the ones that Jessica uses from, um, Jessica from Scroll Pensco. So, can't wait for those to come in. So then I can actually make things look legible when I write that small. Anyway, going into Sunday, um, had some oopsies going on here. But um, I slept in, so I did the cardinal sin of layering scripts over character stickers again. I really tried to keep them out of the edges this time, although some there were some exceptions. Um, but that is from Once More With Love. I cleaned my earrings, and that is a sticker from my own shop. I did some pre-planning for a plan with me, and that is another Sweet Avis paper sticker. The script is from Scroll Prince Co. It is discontinued. And that divider is from, I think, Rose Colored Days. Looks really good, though. So I binged YouTube. That is a sticker from Happy Daya, the red sticker. Um, I ordered some Van City stickers, probably the exact ones that I used on Saturday. Um, that is a credit card icon from the Wiggle, and then I marked the Jungle Book and a leftover um, movie marquee. And that is a script from School of Prince Co. And the little, um, like, kind of Jaguar sticker is, I think, from the Sticky Company, possibly. But I was really proud of that, so I, I really loved how that looked. I thought that was such a cool idea. And I do later put a divider over it from somewhere don't ask me where that divider is from but it all looks really good because it looks like jungle leaves and I was just really proud of how I did that section so I don't know if you saw me do a little thumbs up but I did I was so happy with that it looks really good it looks amazing it fits everything like fits perfectly um, so now I'm going ahead and putting down all the deco so there's kind of like three layers there's the bigger bigger deco at the bottom the um, smaller deco at the top um, and then the second layer is the um, Once More With Love sheet of little munchkins dressed like the characters from um, Stranger Things. So we have um, up in the flags, we have Will the Wise in the right hand side. And then his mom, Joyce, on the left. I thought that was really um, a, good, a good thing to do. 
good symbolism, good representation of the show. And then we have Eleven and Max in the sidebar, of course, because they were kind of besties for this season. In the bottom washi, there is Billy and Lucas and Dustin. I put Hopper on the full box on Saturday with the little robot in the radio. And then in Wednesday on the full box, I put the, um, the Demogorgon, which I thought was hilarious, where I just put that. Um, and on the double box of Starcart Mall, I put um, Steve, Steve's name, and then, Ro is it Robin? I know it's Maya Hawk, but I think it's Robin. I love her so much. Um, so yeah, I put them there. So I kind of, I kind of match them up by like theme, I guess. So that was really fun to figure out how to place those. I used more of those type of stickers in this spread than I usually do, than like I did with like the Lion King spread and et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then the third layer is the tiny little um, twinkle deco dots, I guess, that I put in the top and also on some of the character stickers. And also, if you look in the, um, in the full box on Sunday, I decked out 11 in, um, in a bow from the wiggle and also a necklace from the photo corner. It's was supposed to be like a photo corner, but I thought it made a really good necklace, so I kind of went to town on that. Anyway, I'm like super proud of how this looks. Um, it's a very rainbowy spread, but that made it so easy to bring in other um, other pieces, like other quarter boxes and little things and stuff, because I didn't have enough that came with the actual kit. So I was able to bring in a lot of others without it looking too out of place, and I think it looks really good. Again, it's really hard to see the bougie boxes, especially since I covered most of them up with. Um, other boxes clammed or crammed really closely together, but um, there are a few boxes where you can really see them on Saturday and Sunday, and I am including a little picture of those that you will see on the screen. It's kind of a close-up, and I got to use a very special lens for my iPhone for that that I've never used before. It's like a macro lens, so I was really proud of getting to use that. It looks pretty cool. So yeah, I love this rainbow spread. Rainbow is not necessarily my thing. So I won't use it like all the time, but I think it really works in this spread and it looks gorgeous. And I think I did a really good job of like being really careful about how I placed everything, especially in the sidebar and the bottom washi and how I place things on the days. And um, especially most of all my writing, because that is the one thing that I've been like really like concerned about and like annoyed with. Um, in previous spreads is my writing. It's been all over the place and I feel like it definitely detracts from the spread and it can kind of ruin it a little bit if it's just like all over the place and if I'm trying to like cram too many words into a space where it just doesn't work. So like the previous week wasn't that great. But this week I try to make it really uniform so you'll notice that every single time I have to write multiple words the top word is going to be in script and the bottom is going to be in block letters of some sort um, and I'll kind of alternate with that but it looks really uniform that way and I think it looks really good so I just have to be more careful about the actual sticker scripts that I use the foil ones are good I think um, but the other ones with the white background don't look good so I bought a lot of scripts with the clear background from Kinsey's Creations, so I can't wait for those to come in because those are going to really help. Um, and I don't like using the ones with white backing, so I'll probably just not use those if I don't have to. But um, So there are a few oopsies in this spread, but overall this is like branching into a new era of spreads. I had already been doing the bougie and some white space thing and day extenders before, but now I'm fine-tuning the details so that the writing and the script use is going to be much better and um, things are not going to be too crammed because I do have that problem so like that box involving Anna on Thursday that's not going to happen again so um, if I need to I'll use another day extender if I need more space I'm going to start thinking more about that so 
that's kind of my plan going forward to absolutely perfect my spreads but I think this is one of the best ones I've done yet it's really gorgeous the rainbow wiggle in the bottom washi from uh, Simply Gilded really just makes the spread pop and it's really perfect for Stranger Things so also go ahead and let me know what you thought about um, what you like about or what you think about Stranger Things and what you like and what you dislike because um, I kind of want to talk about it with people. I love that show so much. I know that a lot of people watch it. So, yeah, I'm just blabbering on for ages now. But um, I had a lot to say about this spread. I really liked it. Um, and, yeah. So, thank you so much for watching. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, and share the usual business, that would be so awesome. My Instagram is poppin'. And at some point, I will revive my Facebook group for my shop so that that will be popping at some point but um yeah definitely check out my instagram for like updates and stuff um so yeah all that would be fantastic and i will see you in my next video which should be real soon because i'm recording at an alarming rate ciao ciao